Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Redstone Nyx here and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. Now today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do time manipulation commands in Minecraft. And what I mean by that is that these commands will allow you to mess with the concept of time in Minecraft. Like maybe want to speed up like the day cycle, turn it into night instantly, make want to make crops grow, or even want to do the opposite, like stop time completely in that sort of thing. Now, before I go into more detail on what those commands are and how it works in this video, you know the drill. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video. Apart from that guys, let us start today's video. Okay guys, so here are all the commands right here. I know it seems like a lot, there's like 18 commands to make this work, but I promise that most of them are like really simple as I go over them. And as always, all of these commands here will be in the description down below so you guys can copy and paste them into your world later on. Now, let us begin. So first off, as always, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So I've got the master time clock. I'm going to turn this on and turn this one. And also, give me one quick second here. I need to replant these uh, crops here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So everything's all set. So when you hold the master time clock in your offhand, you get a set of three options here. So you got stop time, resume time, and speed up time. So resume time, you could probably guess it would just set everything back to normal. So we're going to first test out like the the new speed up time. And that's why I have the crops and also the, the copper here. And also the sapling. So watch what happens when I hold down the hold down right click with the speed up time. So when you do so, it basically speeds up time. Like look how fast the trees are growing and also the crops are growing too. And you notice that on the clock and also that the moon and sun are going fast as well. Thus the concept of speeding up time in Minecraft. Pretty nice. And this could be very useful if you want to just get like a bunch of tree saplings or even your crops growing really quickly and such if you're just tired of waiting and such. Or if you don't have any bulb. And, such. and you notice that the that as time goes by, that the the copper starts to change over time. As you probably already know. And if you want time to just stay the way it is, just right click with this and the moon and sun will move at a normal pace again. And also, so let me do just a uh, time. Actually, no, I'm just going to speed up time just so I can get the sun in front of me just for one quick second. Okay, resume time. And now we've got the stop time. So while you have the ability to speed up time and such, you also have the ability to stop time completely. So pretty much when you right click with this, you notice that the sun just stops moving, like like everything stops moving. And you probably don't know this, but um, I also made it so that when you press the stop time, crops and like other things are not going to change over time at all because well, I stopped time completely and such. But again, if you want time to resume again, just right click with the resume time, and the sun will start moving and the crops will start to begin to grow on their own again and such. And also, I made a little fe bonus feature to this, so that crops and also the sun and nighttime are not the only things affected by this. So let me get, let's get an ocelot right here. Okay, here we go. So watch what happens when I do the speed up time again. So when you do that, it pretty much gives mobs like super speed. Like giving you the concept like every like the mobs are also moving at the speed of time as well. Like, like only you are the only one that's moving at normal speed, but when you're speeding up time, it's like every mob is like going fast in time as well. And then just click the resume time just to make them go back to normal. And if you want to do the opposite, like when you do the stop time with mobs, it actually freezes them to the point of halt. Like, they pretty much can't move. I mean, it's not like... It's not like they're frozen completely like my last video, which was mob, the mob freeze rate that takes away their AI and such. It just gives them very big slowness effect that they just can't move and such. The creeper will still explode, but you kind of get the idea here. Okay, let me just resume time to let them move on. 
and let's go over the commands into making this work. Oh, and when you hold the clock back in your main hand, those options will disappear, just like so. Alright, so let me turn this off, turn this off, and let's go over the commands. So, as always, we need a scoreboard for this to work. And here is how it goes. Scoreboard objectives add, and then we put time here, and we got Minecraft dot use colon minecraft dot carrot underscore on underscore a underscore underscore stick Sorry. and then this one over here just simply removes the scoreboard if needed now these first three over here give you those special items when the clock is in your offense so let's go all the way back here so when the special clock named Master Time Clock is in your offhand, it's going to run this. Item replace entity at P hotbar dot four with Minecraft carrot on the stick named resume time. Same thing for the one that says stop time, and same thing for the one that says speed up time. And now these three command block pillars over here control those three options. So, we're going to start with this first middle one right here, which controls the resume time one. So, this command down here activates the resume time option. So, when the carrot on the stick named resume time is selected, it's going to run this. Scoreboard player set at E, you got scores equals inside curly brackets, we got time equals 1, you got the dot here, close both brackets, they got time 0 at the end right here. Now this one over here, this one just simply changes the game rule dual daylight cycle to true, like making sure the daylight cycle like happens all the time and such. And now this one just sets the random tick speed to 3, which is the default tick speed in Minecraft. And we're gonna talk about more about the tick speed when we get to the other two commands over here and such. And then this one over here just simply clears the effects of all mobs affected by the master time clock, and such. Okay, so now we're gonna come over here, this one controls the stop time option. So again, it's pretty much the exact same thing that when the carrot on the stick named stop time is selected, it's going to run the exact same command, right here. Now this one over here changes game rule dual light, sorry, do daylight cycle to false. Pretty much making it so that the sun does not move at all from where it's positioned, positioned at. And then this one over here just pretty much sets the random tick speed to zero. So what tick speed is, is that it's basically how like the crops grow and such and also how like, um, like copper oxidizes over time. And stuff like that. So when that tick speed is at zero, it basically removes the chances of them even doing anything at all on their own. If that makes sense. And then this command over here, this one basically just gives mobs that are effective by the master time clock. So you just do effect give at E. My, inside brackets we got type equals not players. And then we got slowness. For like this many seconds and amplifier of seven right here pretty much making them extremely slow and then this one over here we got for the speed up time so again same th thing except we're targeting the speed up time item right here now this one over here just speeds up minecraft time so you just do slash time add 250 right over here. That's how you can see, give you like the little like animation that the sun is constantly moving faster or something like that. And now this one over here sets the random tick speed to 1000. So this is the type of speed that you can use to make crops grow extremely fast. As you just saw, like the trees grew instantly and the crops were starting to grow extremely fast. And you didn't even have to use bone meal and such. And then this command over here just does the same thing as the stop time except it gives all mobs a speed effect 
for this many seconds and an amplifier of five right here and also i put a little note here that if for some reason you guys don't want mobs to be affected by the master time clone you can leave out um commands 7 11 and 15 if you want like these top one commands like it's perfectly fine if you don't want those commands when you want this item to work and such that's perfectly fine with me okay so last three commands right here so these three just get rid of the items when the clock is back in your main hand so again when the clock name master time clock is selected it's going to run clear at p minecraft carrot on a stick named resume time same thing for stop time and same thing for speed up time item and yeah that is pretty much time manipulation commands in minecraft and that my friends is gonna wrap up for today's video so if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another video Apart from that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next week in the next one. Goodbye!